What if I were to tell you there was a better, more cost-effective alternative to the 3D Space Mouse for Fusion 360? Well, guess what? There is, and in the next minute, I'm going to introduce it to you. So let's jump into it. Welcome to this Fusion 360 Minute. In this episode, I'd like to introduce you to the Contour Shuttle. Now, there are two basic types of the Shuttle. There's the Express and the Pro. The major difference between the two is the Pro has more buttons than the Express. In this episode, I'm going to be using the Express. However, the configuration details for both work the same. So with that being said, one of the things that we first need to do is start the configurator as you see I have on the screen here. From there we're going to need to define Fusion 360 because the configurator comes as you can see here with a number of predefined applications. However, Fusion 360 is not one of those. And the way the configurator works is it looks to see what application has focus under Windows and then applies those keystrokes or those programmed actions of the buttons and wheels to that application. So you can customize this profile to various different applications and it will change with the application. With that being said, how we do that is we click on the option button here below the application setting and then we choose new setting which takes us to create empty setting. Now from here what this will do is take us into uh, a very deep directory now. What we need to do is find the Fusion 360 XE. Now this is important because the Fusion 360 XE is what Windows is going to announce as the program under focus when you're using Fusion. Now be very careful. You might be tempted to go to the icon and select uh, Fusion Launcher. This is only the launcher from the icon. You need to select Fusion 360.exe. Now I'll have an extra resource page with a link below set up so if you have some more questions you can dive into deeper detail there. But it should be pretty simple. All you knew is need to find the sexy. Now I've already got this configured on my machine so I'm just going to simply cancel out of this. Now what I'm going to talk about next is my particular configuration of the buttons and you can configure this however you see fit for your purpose. So in my case I'm using the Express Shuttle so I have five buttons. So I've configured this end button over here to be my orbit while I've configured this button over here to be my pan. Now I find this highly effective because all I have to simply do is hold down one of these buttons and then the mouse does all the rest. So I can basically work with one hand on the shuttle, one hand on the mouse and do a ton of different work. Now the other piece that I have set up is I've got uh, this button up here set for dimension. I've got this button set for trim and then I have this button set for circle which are the majority of my buttons. And then what I have the set center wheel set to do our zoom basically zoom in and out and I use the inner and outer wheel for various levels of zoom so you can set that up now when you go to do that you notice over here you have your configuration menus to choose the functions that you know either you want in this case for example I have you know my keystrokes uh, for the buttons or you can set up different mouse actions so over here you can have key clicks mouse wheel switch settings so again you can uh, tailor this to the keystroke settings of Fusion 360 which really works well. So with this being said hopefully you found this interesting again I'll have a little bit of a resource page set up for this on the uh, Fusion 360 subdomain of DIY3dtech.com with a link below so uh, if you found this helpful please give it a big thumbs up be a subscriber to the DIY3dtech.com channel and we'll see you guys in the next video where we talk Fusion 360 in a minute. Cheers! Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.